Hello everyone, welcome back to Automaton episode number 27. As we last left off, I've done just a little bit. I uh, made my way to the nether and got some more blaze rods, seeing as how we can't really get Woot up and running because we have no mob heads. So um, that will have to be just something we'll have to work on a little bit later, but I am a little bit more familiar with how the mod actually works now as I've done some work with it on my stone block live stream. I've set up a top tier spawner or factory as they call it from the mod and it's a little specified on how it's actually supposed to be set up. I'm not actually super impressed with it just yet, but um, I haven't also added mini upgrades as well. So uh, th there's a little bit more work to be done and I'd like to be able to kind of test out a little bit more. But um, as far as in here, I don't know if we can actually get that for a little bit because of the, the mob head drops and all that stuff. I'd have to pretty much make my own mob farm, which is something I may have to end up doing. But anywho, um, I've went ahead and let our awesome digital miner do its thing. As you can see, I went ahead and we removed the power cube. I went ahead and got that thing fully filled, so we're good to go there. And as far as its operations are concerned, it is done getting all of the clay that we told it to in a radius of where it's at. So far, we have 3,200 clay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Also, on a side note, the pack has updated as of today, um, as, of, as of this recording, so you guys um, can check it out. If you guys are playing along, looks like there is a few config changes as well, and possibly, I think, if we click on this, can we... Does it, does, do I have to redo that? Or did he not... I, I, he may not have changed anything in the book... I think there was a few things he, he I think he messed with some ore ore spawning and stuff like that, reduced copper. I think he increased the lead, but that's only going to happen in newer chunks. So if you guys are playing along or have your own stuff, um, your own world, and you guys are looking for lead or or whatever, you know, you're you're gonna have to go out to a new area that you haven't been to yet in order to kind of you know get those new new things added to your world basically so anyway I think today I'm gonna probably poke around in the book a little bit we still got a lot left to do I'm not really sure what I want to jump into at the moment um, I'm actually kind of almost tempted to do the much better furnace hmm it requires a lot of power but hmm I just don't know and I'm also tempted to try those out but I'm also I also know that mechanism has some really good like actual that would be nice I wish I wish I had done that because I kind of want to see what this is what is this fanciest energy storage cube I'm assuming okay yeah you go up from this this is from mechanism ultimate induction provider output of 13.1 million RF what Advanced complex of coolant systems, conductors, and energies capable of expanding the energized induction matrix's maximum rate of energy transfer. Holy good lord. So there's an ultimate induction cell and an ultimate induction provider. Okay, so there's the inductions. A highly conductive energy capacitor capable of storing massive amounts of energy in a single block. Housed in an energized induction matrix to expand the multi-blocks energy storage. This is a multi-block? Excuse me? Okay, I'm not seeing that. I am definitely going to have to probably get into that. I don't know if I will today, but that would be pretty sweet. I'm actually kind of half tempted to. I just have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm hoping this would tell me what to do. Problem is, I already kind of did this. And I, I don't know, do I do I have the... Oops, I need to make sure we turn this back up. I usually turn this down. Because I don't always have my headphones in. Um, so I apologize for that. Uh, let's see. Alloy. We do have some more alloy. Let's go ahead and grab some redstone. Let's grab some iron. We might also set up our digital miner to start bringing in some other resources as well. So let's let that metallurgic infuser do its job. Our steam turbine's been doing amazing, I will say that. And I'm thinking actually about moving these down into the room floor because I really don't know what other machines I really want to make down there at the moment. So we'll go ahead and take a look, maybe pull back a bit, 
Bank to maybe powering up? No. Was there any other multi-block machines that we probably could really use? Simple machines. Let's take a look at that. We got conveyor belts, external heater, item router, turntable charging station. Most of these we already have. Most, some of these we don't even need. Turrets would actually be really cool to have on the outside of the, the factory. That would be actually be pretty neat. The automated workbench. Do we... Is that what we have? Actually, no, we don't. But we don't really need this at the same time as we have um, applied energistics crafting, so we don't really need that. Let's go back to heavy machines. Let's see, we got the improved blast furnace, check, metal press, check, crusher, check, mixer, mixer. Mixers multiplying structure that uh, dissolves fluids and fluids, mixing them together. The structure is built in the above. Is mixing of fluid, concrete from water, two parts sand. Oh, okay. So it basically makes concrete. Oh, and maybe even something else. If it mixes, that might be a good way to make um, treated wood planks, refinery, arc furnace, and excavator. So these are really the only last two. So I may end up. Moving a few things over there, possibly even setting the arc furnace. But I don't know if I have enough room. Dang, I might just have to make multiple machines. I might have to make it like another crusher or something. Which would not be a bad idea. Would not be a bad idea. Alright, well let's go ahead and probably just kind of cook around and play with some of these actual quests here. So this one, that is for our oil refinery we could go ahead and jump into a little bit more of applied energistics probably not a bad thing I'm starting to run out of storage cells and maybe make it another one so I still have one full 16 K and then this is pretty much most of these are most of them are full so uh, would not be a bad idea let's go ahead and just complete some quests let's get a 1k going I think I got everything going for that guy, so I think we can do this, pull it out. It should be quest completed on that. I don't know why the book always keeps jumping around on me like this. There we go. And we get another 1k in return. A 4k? Oh nice, you get a 4k in return as well. Very cool. 4k. We should be able to do up to the 4k. I don't know how many resources I actually have. To be able to make all the stuff that I... Yeah, see what I mean? I'm out of the gold processors now. So now I need my... Um, inscriber. We'll grab our... That's... Actually, do we... Do we have silicon? We do. I just need to... I'll have to make some more. Thankfully, we can use the... Acceleration cards here. Speed up the process. Grab a little bit of gold. You know, let's just do a full stack. Why not? And then we'll need some logic. Logic is basically what you're going to need a lot of, especially if you're making actual drives like this. You're going to need a bunch of them. And we might even make another ME drive soon as well. All right, so let's go ahead and put this guy... Let's put him, like, uh, right here for now. I'm actually kind of curious if this is going to ruin stuff. Because I don't know how many things we have on one, on this channel at the moment. And I'm kind of getting a little worried that that might not be a good idea. You only have a max of eight things on one channel. And I think this is basically considered one. And then we would have seven more off of that. Um, so I need to start pulling off of this. We might have to restructure this whole thing very soon. So we can actually kind of see. If we grab a smart cable. If we have... Do we have a dense one? I don't think we have a dense one yet, do we? Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, man. Dense covered cable. I don't have any of those, do I? All right, let's try these out. I think these will still show us, like, how many um, things are basically set up on this channel. three. Oh, that's it? I only have three? So I guess that would be one, two, three, because we have an importer and an exporter, so I'm assuming that's just those three. Okay. 
and you'll know there would be another blue, and then there would be a lighter color for the other ones. So, okay, we're fine. We're good. I thought maybe it might be a little bit more. I didn't know. I wasn't sure about these two, so that's good to know. Oh, this actually retained that? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's super cool. Fine, let's just do this. Go to town, my dude. Go to town. I wonder if you put a stack, like, if there was, like, a stack upgrade. That'd be <laughs> hilarious. Be like, up, oh, done. Oh, crap. It's not dark. All right, so we're going to let that run for a minute. We'll, we'll kind of do, like, two little bits of, like, quest lines just to kind of ramp a few things up in some spots that we kind of should have already probably done. Um, but let's go ahead and grab these, and we'll start working on seeing about that ultimate energy thing, because that would be amazing. Oh, my gosh. Super amazing. Even. So we, we're going to make another cube. All right, so we're going to start off with low-end cube. If I had the stuff, and they don't, I, mean, I have another hammer, so steel. Do have enough steel. I'm just gonna make like a up to 16 of these for now. I'm not gonna need all of those for what, what I'm doing at the moment, but they're, they'll be there for later in case I need them, since I'm already crafting them. All right, so we got that. Let's get our two energy tablets, which we're going to need a few of these. So let's just go ahead and make those up. And I'm thinking, what do we need? Let's see. Regular, advanced, elite. Ultimate. And then possibly four for this other one. But we'll see about that in a minute. I just want to get another ultimate cube. And go ahead and start getting that powered up. I mean, more storage is not a bad thing of energy. That is not bad at all. So we're going to go ahead and just do that. Let's go ahead and click these over. Grab our regular cube again. Let's upgrade it to the next tier. And it kind of worries me about auto-crafting these as well. Because auto-crafting these, I'm wondering if it'll even pull those if it registers even after crafting them. So that, that, that's the other thing I'm just kind of worried about here. So there we go. That should be a quest complete right there. Oh yeah. Mechanical upgrades. Detect. And a loot chest. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice. I don't mind getting more of those. These things are actually... They're not super expensive, but it's just nice when you get them at, like kind of frequently in your quest rewards. It's actually kind of nice. All right, so we got that completed. Let's go ahead and pull these guys out. Let's go ahead and grab this. Let the silicon run. Make up some more of those even though we have those. We're probably going to put those back in there. We're just going to do a nice clean stack of our uh, chips there. So let's go ahead and put that away. We're done with the logic press. That's fine. We're going to grab a stack of redstone. And once those are done, we'll go ahead and start running those through. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look and see what this next quest is, because I have not seen this. This is actually really interesting. All right, so let's read. All right, so it tells us what we need. It says the induction matrix is a multi-block structure made of, up of, made up of four components, casings, ports, providers, and cells. The induction matrix can be up to 18 by 18 by 18. Oh my gosh! In size and requires at least one provider in one cell. All edges of the structure must be casings, but the faces can be any combination of casings and ports. Holy crap, dude! Induction cells are blocks that are actually that actually store the energy. These are placed inside the structure and can be any tier, even differing tiers. So the capacities of all the cells are added together to determine the maximum capacity of the matrix. Whoa! Okay, I'm thinking this is just going to get us set up for, like, a basic one. I, I'm i actually kind of okay with that. I, I don't... I, I will go for a max one later, but... Oh my gosh, this is actually kind of getting me a little, uh... A little excited here for this. I Induction casing. Okay, what do we need? Obviously, we're going to need a lot of steel. What is this? Oh, no. Not HDPE. Oh, man. All right, I ain't going to be able to do this yet because we need a new machine. We need the PRC here. We're also going to have to figure out how to get these, which is, I think this is from an, um, 
what do you get? A, 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 yeah, electrolytic separator. There you go. So that's going to get you your hydrogen and your oxygen. Um, I don't know about the other one. I've never made this stuff. Liquid ethylene. So concentrating. So basically ethylene becomes liquid ethylene. Ethylene is got from the PRC. From taking biofuel. And you get substrate and ethylene. Okay. Well, that is a process. It's not a crazy process, but it is a process nonetheless. Okay. <laughs> I think I've found something I'm going to be very, very happy to do in the near future. That is going to be pretty sweet. I kind of am excited to see about setting that up. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that all today. Like I said, I can actually go ahead and grab some of the stuff, but I don't really know yet. I'm actually kind of curious about setting up some of these, but these are also... Like, setting up solar out there for the, uh, our oil rig would probably not be a bad idea. I was kind of hoping our windmills would do better, but yeah, they're not really high up, and that's understandable. So, so muffling upgrade. Let's actually go ahead and do that since I made those as well the other day. Let's go ahead and make the muffling upgrades. We'll go ahead and complete this quest. So we're gonna need some steel, I believe that is. We're gonna need some crushed steel. So we'll just grab a little bit of this. Probably should get some more steel going as well. Um, eh, eh. Oh, I got a crusher. This thing needs some love. Yeah, that, that, that Crusher needs some love, man. We need to give him some upgrades. We got a Metallurgic Infuser up and running. We really need to give this guy some more love, because I, I don't want to keep putting everything in the Crusher uh, from Immersive, because it, that, we kind of got that set up at the moment. So maybe some other upgrades. I think I have enough and made enough of the other stuff to kind of make a few more of these. Maybe not, like, max it out, but just kind of make a few, even though I know we're about to get a few back. Which is fine, but just kind of give him a little bit of love. I mean, he needs to go a little bit faster. But yeah, I think we probably could fit an arc furnace here. I imagine. And it might not be a bad idea. But I'm thinking about just kind of moving a lot, a lot of other things kind of in here. Not really sure if I'm, I'm going to be using the assembler yet. I'm not really sure if I have used it before. <laughs> I don't think I have, so it's going to be kind of interesting. All right, let's get those energy upgrades in there to kind of help this guy along. But that is one of my goals. I want to try to see about completing the quest book in this at least. So I needed. There are going to be times when we're kind of going back through and kind of doing a few things that kind of might have already happened. This is why I'm, I've, I've been taking it slow on certain things. It's because I didn't want to, you know, kind of get ahead too much. On some stuff but there we go and we go ahead and oh it's a choice reward oh oh I thought we got them all dang that's fine no big deal no big deal all right so we got those taken care of these should be done now nice stack of logic processors there we go we might even be able to go ahead and make ourselves pretty much all the different tiers and just kind of start filling it up a little bit more so there we go 4k storage cell we're gonna need one more of those so there's that. I'm just going to go ahead and do that for the moment. And there we go. A 4K storage component to make a 4K storage cell. Let's complete that quest. Detect and submit. Two more of those. And we're going to put those in there. So that's a pretty nice drive. That is not doing bad at all. That is, uh, okay. Whoops, hello. Let's kind of go back to where we were, please. Thank you. I do like the thought of that because I think I could probably make this. So this is this is nice comparison of like kind of telling you about it. The 16 storage, uh, 16k storage cell can store up to a thousand forty stacks of 63 unique items or 2,032 stacks of a single item. So that's kind of nice. So if you go back, you can kind of compare that. 4k storage can store up to 260 stacks of 63 unique items or 508 stacks of a single item. So the bigger is a little bit better, but you just kind of want to have more sometimes. It just kind of depends on how you want to put your items in, basically. And there's a way to sort your items onto specific drives. Say, for instance, you have, like, a lot of, like, our metals are in our drawers. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, if you have, like, a lot of, like, certus or nether quartz or something like that, or lapis that's not in my, like, drawer, redstone, we might end up getting a lot of that in the future. And having a lot of that is going to be kind of 
crazy, so it'd probably be better be on a bigger storage drive. For the other things, like little things, like um, maybe sticks or bone meal or certain mob drops since we don't have a mob farm up, those would probably be better on a lower tier drive. But I think that'll probably be good enough to kind of get us taken care of for the day. Cause, um, I think we're good. That's a lot of storage. I kind of wouldn't mind playing around a little bit more with our digital miner. Start your auto-crafting. Auto-crafting would be nice to get into, but I'm going to save that, I think, for another episode. Because I got some plans for that. Now, starting in this is going to be very interesting. But, I'm not, I'm not... Actually, you know what? That may not be a bad idea. Because this is pretty good solar array. We might... You know what? We're doing it. We're doing it. The assemblement later. We need the assemblificator. The sim... Alright, make this do... Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what am I missing? It's a li lime die. Gotcha. Well, there you go. Thank God for having cactus. There you go. There's some litharite for you. I got a little bit of obsidian as well. So there we are. We got a quest completed. Let's get it. And some loot in the process. Booyah. Nice. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know what? Why not? Let's make another drive now, chat. Ah, oh, I said chat. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm streaming again. Jeez. Holy crap. <laughs> there we go. Let's make it purdy. All right. 16K. Here we go. 16K storage cells. Booyah. One, two, three, four, five. And that should actually account for doing this quest because it is a crafting. And I kind of already got it. So, boom. We get an extra one as well on top of it. So, now we got seven. I thought we had seven. Did I not claim the quest? Did I not pull another one? Oh, I ran out of the quartz glass. That's what it was. That makes a lot more sense. Quartz glass. Booyah. 16K. Here we go. Oops. That was the wrong pattern. There we go. So there we go. We are good on storage, I think, for a long, long time. Holy good lord. That was a nice loot chest. Whoa, hello. What is this? Excuse me? Fluid storage. Gas storage? Oh, <gasps> dude. That's actually really... Oh, this is... Oh, okay, I got, I got ideas. I'm glad I'm going and doing this now because I'm learning about certain things in here that I've never actually played with before. But I'm getting ideas on how to make things work together. And that is the funnest thing ever. Did I rhyme? I think I just rhymed. I'm so sorry. Brian production, triple ingots. See, and look, doing this is like, it, it's telling me certain things that's good to know. Really good to know. Solar array, what do I need? Solar array, controller tier one. Each tier of solar array is larger and produces more power than the previous tier, but unlike miners, each tier can be improved with better solar cells that improve more power without upgrading the tier. The resources for upgrading the solar cells from the void resource miner. I've only made this thing like once. But, I keep hearing from everybody that these things are pretty dang awesome. Now, here's the deal. These are going to require litharite. And each craft of litharite... Uh, that's a good chunk of diamonds. I feel like I got enough cactus to do this. Flint, on the other hand. I could get pretty easily. We do have vein mining capabilities. I just don't have a lot of gravel on me. We might go ahead and try. It may not be the worst thing. Uh, do I have a wand? I do. I can go get gravel. Actually, it would probably be a better idea instead of like placing this all down and wasting my builder's wand. I'm sure there's a lot of gravel down here that I could just look that are in chunks in our little mining area to play around with. Yeah, see, there's some gravel right there. Look at that. Booyah. Easy 53. Look at that. Oops. 
broke me a torch. All right, see, more gravel. Yeah, using fortune on that is going to be a lot better. So now we're getting a lot more. So that's nice. All right. See, there's a little bit of clay I kind of missed. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see the lights in there a little bit better. Oh, crap, is it? It's not sunset. Okay, that was just a trick of the light. The trick of the light. That should be maybe enough. I don't know how much of this stuff we're actually going to need. Because I know there's some other stuff, and I think you need more litherite for other things. It's probably better to make the miner kind of let it run, because you do get it from that. I'm not sure if the crystal functionality on it's still working right, though. I hope this doesn't, like, mess up my ladder. Oh, my gosh. There was a bunch in there. Very nice. That should be okay now. That should be enough. Um, the only other thing we need to really do is see about crafting some more of the, um, the cactus green. And I think we might be okay on bone meal for the lime dye. The diamonds possibly should be okay. If not, what I can do is go ahead and do this. Boom. Give that guy some power. Go ahead and click stop from the previous. And... Why can't I hit config? Oh, reset. There we go. That makes more sense. Okay. Um, material filter. Delete. New filter. Material. Um, can I do material? No. Item stack. Or do. Okay. Um, I think it's or star. But I wonder if it's like... I wonder if I could do star diamond. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go, and this is radius of 32. I think, yeah, that, that's still set up right. Okay, cool. All right, start. Actually, we're going to silk touch this. Let's see? <laughs> that should be enough. So that's going to give us plenty of diamonds. We should be good on that. I can just place those down and then just vein mine fortune them. That'll be the best way instead of running them through, like, a system because I don't think there's anything that can give you... More than like two and a half, because that's kind of about the average that you usually get when you um, fortune a bunch of diamonds upwards to even more. So, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and make this litherite. We got a little bit already. Um, how much cactus green do we have? Not a lot, but we can go ahead and grab what the cactus we have, and we still have a lot of cactus up there that's not being used because those are all pretty much done and they're banked up now, so that's nice. We'll let that one run. What we can do is we can grab the cactus out of this guy. Bloop. Those guys will start running and doing their thing. We can come down here, and since this isn't working, we can just go ahead and go bloop. And those are all automatically going to be imported into our system real quick. See, it's kind of nice having things that like automatically just do stuff for you, and you don't have to go grab them and all that stuff. Litherite. All right, so this is litherite solar cell. These are probably the things we're going to need. So we're going to need a bunch of litherite. Like I said, it's probably a little bit better way to go through and mine the stuff with the, the miner instead of going through... There we go, green dye. Instead of going through and um, actually um, making it like I'm doing right here. So I'm just going to make up all the lime dye that I possibly can. Litherite again. And we should be able to go ahead and start crafting up a good few bit of these. There we go. So we're out of that. Let's see how many of blocks we can make and see what we need first. So solar. How many blocks do we need? We need four blocks. Plus, I believe, three. Okay. Oops, I totally didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh. Where's the litherite? Give me the litherite. I need that recipe right there. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Very nice. And I think we got a little bit left over for other things as well. Wait, what? Palladium? I didn't want palladium. I wanted... Where's the... Just give me that one. Jeez. So, so we need those. We need three photovoltaic cells. 
We're also going to need some interconnect, which this stuff is actually pretty interesting. So you're going to need some black concrete or a modifier component, which is very interesting, actually. We're going to need, still need black concrete powder. Oh, great. God, I hate that stuff. It's so annoying. These things are easy to make, though, and they're pretty cheap. Just redstone, and so I usually like to make a stack of them. Black concrete, though. You're going to need some uh, powder. Black powder. Black concrete powder. Do I have this stuff? I don't have any ink sacks. Dang it. This episode's going to be a little bit longer, and I didn't mean it to be. fine. You guys like longer episodes, right? I've been having a lot of people asking me, they're like getting onto me about the world download thing. A lot of you guys seem to be poking at me about it and, and really, really do want uh, an actual um, world download and I, and I definitely can try to do that. I just need to find a good way, a good place to put that because I just I, I don't have like a place to, to really just where are the squids? Not on... Uh, yeah, that's so annoying. Uh, I just don't have a good place right now that I can put it that would be able for everybody to download it. I'd like to put it on the curse launcher. So maybe if I got with the, the pack dev, uh, he may allow me to upload my world to him so he can download it if, if he doesn't mind. And he could maybe put it up there to where the automaton... Uh, pack download is. I think there's a section on Curse Forge or the Twitch app that allows you to download world saves. I think I've seen something like that. I'm not entirely sure. So if, there, if there's a way uh, for me to kind of like get with them and maybe see about doing something like that, that would be a lot better because that, that would also be a lot easier, I, I feel, for you guys instead of like maybe just, I don't know. It, it'd be in a place, you know? I don't know. We'll see. I've had a bad time with dropbacks in the past. And this is not a fun time. I keep going back over there. I need some gosh dang squids, man. I think some new ones spawn up here. Yes. For the love of God. Thank you. Come here. Okay, we're good. That should be enough for now. I don't need a bunch. We just need a little bit. I just want to complete this quest. I know we're going to need more to get the solar cell up and running, which we'll, we'll actually do, and I think that'll be a really good idea for our, our rig out there. I think that's going to work out the best, to be honest with you. So we're just going to make up a good clean bit of those. All we have to do now is just drop these into water, and they turn into concrete, so it's super easy. Um, best way I, I found to kind of do something like this is to do this. Flowing water. Go up. You get the idea. All right, that's going to be good enough for now. All right. And then you just kind of sit here and let this do this. There's probably better ways, easier ways, and I could probably look and see if there's anything in JEI and uses on concrete powder. There might be something else, but there might also be it might be that machine from um immersive as well that will pretty much do this a lot easier. No, not really. Okay. Whatever. No big deal. No! I need... I wonder if there's a player sensor. I wonder if I can have Robit open the door for me. That would be super awesome. <laughs> Alright, Solar. Let's get this quest completed for today. We actually did pretty nice. I think we got some, some, some decent stuff done. So, we'll just go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and make up a bunch of those. You're always going to need a lot of those. So it's always good to make those. There we go. I think now all we need is the solar. Solar, solar, solar. Boom. Solar ar con array controller tier one. That should be quest complete there. Detect and submit. Claim our reward. And that is four diamond apples. Those will come in handy later on. Holy good lord. So if you place this down, I'm just going to show you guys real quick, if you guys are interested. Oh. I thought this used to tell you what you needed. Back where you live in J.I. for the game guy. Oh. Did 
The digital guide? Wait, didn't we get one of those? Yeah, we did. Very nice. Okay, I kind of thought that used to show you, but the solar arrays, that's basically what we're looking at doing. So if we click on the tier, okay, maybe not the tier one, there we go. So this tells you right here, the solar array tier one, we're going to need 16 frame tier ones. We're going to need some solar cells and we're also going to need some modifiers. Okay, so basically we'll do that. It's a structure size of five by two by five. I'm not sure how much it generates. Maybe 549? That's not too bad. We could totally do that. That would that would, that could be doable. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode of Automaton. And if you guys did, be sure to hit that like button for me and our good friend Robit here. We love our likes. You guys tell us how much you like us, and it makes us feel good and warm inside. I mean, he's already warm inside because he's got a battery. You know, it makes more sense that way. But anywho. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys back in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.